But people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of deep darkness, a light has dawned. For to us, a child is born. To us, a son is given. And the government will be on his shoulders. And he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the greatest of his government and peace, there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time on and forever. The zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this. The spirit of the Lord will rest on him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and of might, the spirit of the knowledge and fear of the Lord. He will not judge by what he sees with his eyes or decide by what he hears with his ears. But with righteousness he will judge the needy, with justice he will give decisions for the poor of the earth. He will strike the earth with the rod of his mouth, with the breath of his lips he will slay the wicked. In the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you were highly favored. The Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you are to call him Jesus. He will be great and be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David. And he will reign over Jacob's descendants forever. His kingdom will never end. How old is the Mary asked the angel. The angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come on you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child in her old age. And she who is said to be unable to conceive in the sixth month, for no word from God will ever fail. I am the Lord's servant. Mary answered. May your word to me be fulfilled. Then the angel left her. This is how the birth of Jesus the Messiah came about. His mother Mary was pledged to be married to Joseph. But before they came together, she was found to be pregnant through the Holy Spirit. Because Joseph, her husband, was faithful to the law, and yet did not want to expose her to public disgrace, he had in mind to divorce her quietly. But after he considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord has said through the prophets. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son. And they are to call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took Mary home as his wife. But he did not consummate their marriage until she gave birth to his son and gave him the name Jesus. At that time, Mary got ready and hurried to a town in the hill country of Judea. She entered Zachariah's home and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the baby leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. In a loud voice, she exclaimed, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the child you will bear. 
But why am I so favored that the mother of my Lord should come to me? As soon as the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the baby in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed is she who, who has believed that the Lord would fulfill his promises to her. And Mary said, My soul glorifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has been mindful of the humble state of his servant. From now on, from generations to generations, we will call me blessed. For the mighty one has done great things to me. Holy is his name. His mercy extends to those who fear him from generation to generation. He has performed mighty deeds with his arm. He has gathered those who are proud in their inmost thoughts. He has brought down rulers from their thrones, but lifted up the humble. He has filled the hungry with good things, but has sent the rich away empty. He has helped his servant Israel, remembering to be merciful to Abraham and his descendants forever, just as he promised our ancestors. Mary stayed with Elizabeth for about three months and then returned home. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world, and everyone went to their own towns to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belongs to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him, and was expecting a child. As the time for the baby to be delivered drew closer, Mary and Joseph looked for a place to stay. They came to an inn, but they had no more room. Instead, they resorted to a manger to deliver the baby. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you, and you will find a baby wrapped in cloth and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly hosts appeared with the angel praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. Then, when the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another,
Let us go to Bethlehem to see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off to find Mary and Joseph. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem to consult the king. They went on their way, 
and the star they had seen when it rose went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was.
ไปประมาณโยนิสัยที่มาดูให้ประมาณยีโมเลยให้ได้ยินตอนนี้ทุกคนแสดงออกคุณพร้อมนะครับโกนึกใส่สมัยแบบทุกคนแสดงออกมา